this is just a little video showing the iPhone app, the TuneBoy one. So I've, I'm connected to the TuneBoy Wi-Fi device. If I go in here, go back to my app, it's connected up, showing my ECU serial number, the map version, and the hardware type. It shows that it's an MTS 1200, 2010 to 12 connected. I can click this button to change the tune. I can use the TuneBoy tune. It has notes about what the tune is, or I can return to standard, return to Japanese standard. So I'll choose the TuneBoy tune. Now I get the option to select trim files. So it's got notes about the trim files, and it's got a button to select the first one. So if I select the first one, it changes the notes to say that it's the MIV system. Second one, I'll choose that. And the third one. So now I've got my three trim files select. Now I've got the option to program the ECU. At the top it says preparing ECU. The progress bar is dropping down. This shows that it, this is showing the process as it's erasing the ECU. Once it gets to the bottom, it will start flashing the ECU again. Now it's showing the progress as a percentage. And when this gets through to 100%, the message at the top will change to completed. And the exit button at the bottom of the screen will be enabled to allow you to get out of the app. That simple. Okay, the reflash is almost finished. It's taken... If you compare the time at the top, it's taken three minutes to do it. Saying verify program. Now it's complete. And down the bottom, the exit button has been enabled. I should point out that, that the iPhone version only shows trim files that are applicable to the tune that's selected. And you can see that the name of the tune that's selected is the cruise and tuning tune. It's chosen that based on the bike that it was connected to and the key that I entered. When I started the app and it gets the serial number, the first thing it does is ask me to enter the key number. This is the key number that you generated with the TuneBoy software on the PC.